Hey guys, Kev here, and I want to do something a little different. Today, I want to talk about pill containers. So, I'm planning a video on a keychain pen, so very small pens, which I'm carrying right now to test out. And I have this little bolt action pen that's almost as small. But I also wanted to do a video on uh, pill containers. So... When I say that, I mean like decent ones, right? So uh, let me just get out the one that I'm carrying. All right, Neil, set that down. All right, so here we have five options for your viewing pleasure. I'm going to link all of these. Uh, most of them you can get on Amazon. You can basically get them all on Amazon, but I bought two of them, these two, on Etsy when I thought that's where you would have to get these. But then literally yesterday I started Googling or I started looking on Amazon and I found a bunch of options. So I was like, sweet, I don't need to order them and wait forever from Etsy. I'll just order them on Amazon. So uh, they came in a day, which is awesome. And the price is probably better, but we'll see. Um, so the price range, they range from anywhere from under $10. Like I think one of them was seven or eight. I'm gonna go over everything. And one of them was like 32. I think this one was 32, but it came with one other thing. And it's, um, you know, it has a little bit more machining time in it, I think. So we'll go through them. I have a, a few just, you know, ibuprofens here, generic ibuprofens uh, for, you know, to show you what fits in here and everything. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so they're very similar. They definitely are. Uh, come in different sizes. And that was my biggest sticking point, right? Um, the medication, I'm specifically not going to show you my medication just because, I don't know, I feel weird about that. But um, my medication is like a oblong shaped thing like this long, right? And um, I also will carry some ibuprofen around and, you know, so I need a little bit of space, but I don't want something big. And I actually ordered a different one that looked a bit like this, um, but it had more like a hexagon look to it. But it ended up being like this big and like this wide. And that's just so big because this is something I literally carry on my person every single day. And for years, I literally just dropped it into my phone pocket. And honestly, I think that's why my phone has scratches all over it. I think it's why my CWF Micro Arcadian got absolutely thrashed. Um, I actually sent it in for spa treatment. And now it's got way less marks on it um, than it did. And I mean, I got those marks in like a couple days last time. Um, I've had this one for like a month every day in pocket, basically, and it's got a few, you know, it does have some marks, but way better. And I think that's because I don't have one of these just banging around in there at the bottom of my, you know, I'm not dropping it in, rubbing it against shit as I take it in and out. And I think um, the reason for that is because I got new pants. I've been rocking these off the grid pants. Check out my video on apparel. I think it's just titled The Best Apparel or something like that, um, where I go over the off-the-grid pants. They have a side zipper pocket that is so perfect for this. Um, that's how I carry my medication now every day. I have like six pairs of those jeans or khakis at this point, and every one of them from off-the-grid has that side little zipper pocket, and it's perfect for this. Um, and then the khaki ones... They have a side kind of car, um, carpenter pocket, and I carry my um, flashlight there. So most of the time, when I'm not, when I don't have the jeans version on, I have my light out of that pocket, and then my phone is always in my new. They have this mag slash iPhone pocket, so I literally never have these or my flashlight or my phone in the same pocket anymore. So that's preserving things. But anyway. Um, I don't need anything big. I want it to be small, tuck away. I just want it to protect my medication, keep it dry, right, in case I get wet or whatever, and just make sure I have it when I need it, right? Uh, so it's important. It's something I can't leave at home. 
So I have to have it on me at all times. And so it's a vital part of my EDC. Some of you are not going to be the same way. Some of you don't take anything and I'm happy for you, right? Some of you might carry vitamins or ibuprofen or something in an emergency that you need, right? Heart medication. I don't know. Um, so I know there's people out there who carry medication on them every day. And I just didn't want to go the route of carrying a bag and having some thing in there with like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Like I'm not that old, you know, I just need to uh, refill this every day, throw it in my pocket and then forget about it. And that's what is so clutch about these. And at the same time, they look cool, right? Um, and they function really well. Another uh, key factor here for many of you is all of these will go on a keychain. So you don't have to worry about that. If you're somebody who wants to just slap this on your keys, um, you can do that. The reason I don't do that is because I don't always have my keys with me. I might take walks. I might walk where I'm going. I might get a ride. I'm, I try to avoid my keys. Uh, whenever I can, I have a truck from Ford. I can just pop a code in and get in the truck. So a lot of times I just lock my keys in the truck and leave. I kind of hide them in a certain spot they have that's kind of hidden. Um, and I, and I leave the truck, the keys in the truck. I don't like having my keys on me because it's just extra stuff. Right. And I already have a pen on there. I already have, you know, um, a couple of keys and whatever. So it's just not, it's just extra shit. I'd rather just have this tucked in my pocket. So there's a rundown of, you know, why I carry, how I carry all that stuff. So if you're interested, uh, in, in, in watching further, please do. If not, you know, you can always just, uh, check out the next video, leave me a like, subscribe, do all that cool stuff. But, uh, appreciate you guys checking this one out. So let's go through them and, uh, I'll talk about them. So seven minutes in, here we go. This one is the one I've had the longest. And honestly, it's really all I need. Um, I bought these three for this video. And this one I bought as kind of a test to see if I liked it better than this because I wanted something maybe even smaller, like something just big enough to fit the medication. Um, but there's some downsides to some of these and we're going to talk about it. So this one right here, I will put these up here and these are going to be linked. I'll try to link them in order so that you can go one, two, three, four, pick the one you liked, right? Or you can just follow my links and you, you'll be able to tell by visual and price what we're talking about here. So this one is on Etsy. It's listed as Solid titanium pill bottle, solid titanium bottle, solid titanium box, titanium keychain capsule, titanium container, titanium case. All right, so that is um, the way it is listed. Does it tell me who the shop is? Uh, it says handmade, but you know, it's made on a machine for sure. Uh, this little bottle is made of solid titanium. As we know, titanium is lightweight and high strength and also is one of the most safe metals, highly resistant to corrosion. It's perfect for your pill, tinder, or something you must keep dry. So that's another factor. You could use this to um, keep stuff dry, like tinder. Um, in that case, I would get the big one, which this comes in different versions. They have a small, a medium, and a large. This is the small, and it's $17.10. So the small, the height is 38.5 millimeters. I'm just going to do the measurements for you because I want it in inches. Um, so let's just do the damn thing. We got 1.5 basically, so one and a half inches tall. And then you have a diameter of 0. 0.46, 0.46 on the diameter. So really small and guys pay attention when you're ordering these type things because I've like I said I tried ordering a couple other ones they ended up being huge or whatever like it's just they're they're hard to gauge because of how small they are you know what I mean um so this one you have a nice o-ring right here I've had the same o-ring on this since I bought this over a year ago I mean I have to have had this for a year and a half maybe 
maybe more two years at this point i could probably look up the order but i don't need to do all that um it's solid titanium so you can see that in there it's threaded nicely on both ends i will say some of these are annoying to open and close this one it threads real easy um some of you guys who are machinists can tell me um you know, I guess it's just how you line up, how you, how clean you make the threads. Is that a thing? Um, but you kind of just put it on, right? There's a little space there where it catches and then you can start spinning and it just instant on very easy. And then the last little turn you can see takes a little bit of pop to get it off, which is perfect. And uh, as far as I can tell, it's been watertight. I mean, I haven't had any issues with medication crumbling or anything like this. This is sort of a standard ibuprofen generic style from like Costco, I think. Uh, I don't know if there's a way to look up the size. I guess I can just measure it for you. So let's see. We'll get the width. Oops. And I don't have enough of these to like test how many does it fit, but... You know, we'll see. So 0.325, and again, this guy here was um, 0.41. Was that it? I swear it was different a second ago, but 0.409. Let's just double check what's going on here. So I don't know why we weren't zeroed, so give me a second. 0.46, that's what we said, right? 0.46, and this is falling all over the place sorry fumble fingers here 0.376 okay so 0.376 you have you know a tenth of an inch there left over um these will in that case you could stack these right you could go boom boom so i got um three in there now and it's almost up to the threads you might be able to fit a fourth one i will mention it even though it looks like you'll be able to fit more, it's possible you won't because sometimes, and let's see how it works. If I thread it while it's on there, it does look like it's threading. Uh, it's not tearing up the pill or anything. Let's see if it stayed down there. Hard to tell, but you can see it's not going to fit into the lid. So that makes a difference, right? You're not going to be able to just fill this to the brim. Um, it's not going to fit in the lid, so what that tells me is you only have enough space to get to the threads. So you can fit three in here, basically, which is what I have, which is plenty for me. You know, maybe you could squeeze a fourth one in if you kind of put it in like that. You know, you could put a three in flat and then put a third one in like that, and you probably or fourth one, you'd probably be able to get four in. Um, I wish I had more so I could just you know, test that. Um, but I do not think I have any more right readily available. So, um, that's this guy. I really like it. One key factor is it's flat on the bottom. That'll come up later. If you lay it on its side, obviously it will roll on you, but you can just stand it up flat on your nightstand, your, your valet tray. You can just toss it in, obviously, whatever you want to do. And then you have a little key ring thing here. I can't remember, unfortunately, I can't remember if it came with a little key ring. But you guys can always get that stuff, right? Uh, but I love this one. It's been my daily for over a year. And you can see it's been, you know, beat up. We can take a close-up look. Lots of marks and scratches and whatnot. It's been, you know, I use my shit, guys. Um, I did not think I'd be doing in-depth uh, pill container reviews but hey what are you gonna do so 17 dollars on that one and well worth the money in my humble opinion the medium is 25 and the large is 34 size wise you know it's in millimeters so this one's 38 long the uh medium is 46 so if we do this again zero it out so 38 right here 38 and a half this says 38.3 close enough so you're looking at 46 right about here for the medium 
Okay, and then for the large, 63. That's a big boy, okay? And then it's obviously going to get wider as well. It goes from 12 millimeter outer diameter to 16 to 20. So that last one's going to be, you know, a big boy. So just so you guys are aware. Um, so that's that one. Really enjoy that one. Highly recommend. The next one is this one. This is kind of like your uh, bullet ended kind of one. Um, also on Etsy, this one's 30 bones. Um, and again, these are all titanium. Now, the grade of titanium, I cannot tell you. Uh, I don't think they list the grade of titanium. We can see description, materials. Buh, buh, buh. Yeah, it's not telling me if it's grade five, uh, unfortunately. Uh, let me see if this one does product details, description. Uh, do, 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 do. This one, it says it weighs seven grams. That's interesting. It just says titanium alloy. So it's probably not grade five. I mean, think about it. Do they need grade five for this? No. So um, this guy comes like this, and then it has a ring on it, which is right here comes with a ring like this you can easily just pop this down you actually just push with it and pop it on and now you have this guy on a little key ring you can put this on a necklace you could do a lot of things it's very small right i mean here's a comparison right um i don't carry it on this so that's coming off but you do get that with it which is nice um, I believe it comes in a black, uh, no, this one on Etsy does not, but if you get this one on Amazon, I believe it's both cheaper and it's, um, it comes in a black, which is quite, almost ordered it for this video, but I was like, dude, I already have one that's identical. It's literally the same design on Amazon. It's listed under T -Z -O -R, T I S U R. They have a bunch of these, that brand. We're going to see later. Um, and I'll, I'll try to link this one on Amazon if I can. So anyway, you have a big old hole there, which, you know, whatever. Um, again, you're not going to be able to really utilize this area up here. Again, you have an O-ring. And um, this one doesn't have that, like, super tightness like that one. But it's definitely not coming loose on you unless you're trying to do it. Um, unscrews and there you go let's see how many we can get in if any so they do kind of squeeze in i got a feeling i'm gonna struggle to get these out if i get them out um so there you go they had to kind of pop through the threads but i did get three in there let's see will it thread i'm gonna doubt that so if i kept tightening i would end up chewing up the pill Yeah, that's what I thought I was going to have a problem. Let's see if I can put it back in. There we go. So, doesn't fit perfectly in there. Um, you can definitely get them in and force them in and out. Um, but it's not the perfect setup for ibuprofen. My medication happens to fit in here uh, because it's not necessarily as fat as this it's long it's like oh oblong but i did struggle with it a little bit but i really liked how it carried in here because it's so damn small right but i did have a couple times where i was tightening the cap and i thought it fit and then i heard crunch and i was kind of chewing up the sides of my medication not a big deal just saying um so this one is on the on the mini side like this is the smallest one i i got out of the bunch and uh so it's going to depend on what you got you know if you got little tiny pills something like, like birth control stuff or whatever those little guys um this is fine right uh and it's super lightweight it's super small has that key ring you could necklace carry it you could do whatever you want now the other downside to this one well the price this one's 30 bucks so it's basically twice the price of this one but you get less um, it does look kind of cooler, I guess. It's like a little more sleek. 
This one I had some problems because whenever I go to bed, I take everything out of my pockets and I put it on top of my MacBook, which sits on my desk. Like right here, we're at my desk and then there's another shelf up top. My MacBook sits there and then I have two monitors for like my day job, right? And I just lay like my, my phone, I lay my uh, knives, whatever, Hank, whatever I'm carrying that day, my glasses, um, flashlight, I put it all on top of my MacBook and then in the morning, I get up, get dressed, I grab it off of there, fill my pockets, right? Well, this one, you don't have a flat end. So it'll end up laying down, and what happens, it rolls off of my desk, and it wants to fall behind my desk or whatever. So I always have to, like, put it next to a flashlight or something so it rolls into that and doesn't fall off the desk. Silly and a little little detail, but it made a difference to where I switched back to that one pretty quick. I've had this one for, like, six months, gave it a shot, kind of just went back to that one. But I did carry it for a while. I do really like it because it's small and just disappears, you know? So that is that one. Now we're going to get to the ones I bought on Amazon yesterday. So I don't have long-term experience with these, so please keep that in mind. This one's called the Keychain Pill Holder. Mini size, titanium pill, container with necklace and key ring, waterproof and lightweight pill fob for emergency pills, pocket purse pill case for outdoor travel camping. Now this was the budget version, guys, or the budget option I picked up. This one's $8.99. So this is in titanium, probably not grade five, more like grade two, something like that, or an alloy, but doesn't matter really. It's strong and it's going to be corrosion resistant, um, but it's under $10. So if you guys are trying to pick something up in this video on a budget, great option. Links are in the description. They're also pinned as a comment on every video as long as I remember to do it. So this one has some interesting sort of milling up here. I don't know what's going on there, but whatever um it does have a key ring here and it came with a necklace so this is the packaging for this one and two of them came in like the same package basically um uh, you can see here made in china and there's the description and the barcode and everything and it's a little zipper case which is pretty good it's like waterproof and you have a, a extra o-ring which is nice and you have a little chain necklace I absolutely hate these because they're like cold on your neck. They pinch your skin. They're basically useless, but whatever. Came with it for free. I mean, I paid for the thing. Oh, there's two extra O-rings. Nice. I could use those for something else or whatever, right? So that's really cool. And then it was, uh, this was attached to it. They all came with something attached. I think I took it off because that's not how I carry them. Um, it's a pretty chintzy uh, key ring, but we should all have these things laying around if... You know, you really wanted uh, to put one on there. So um, there we go. Put that away. So that's the packaging for that one. I think it's pretty good. Pretty solid packaging. Um, it has this knurling on it, which is pretty cool. Um, it is very similar to this one. It's just shorter and I think a little fatter. But um, very similar design concept and everything. And let's see. So we got a good, clean break i did uh wash these so i washed all of them before i did this video let them dry you got the o-ring here what's interesting is the o-ring is shifted down so you can see this o-ring is not super tight to the body i wish it was a little bit of a tighter o-ring uh, because that's going to have a tendency to want to come off which might be why they give us three total uh, but threads on pretty good tightens down let's see yep you get a nice crisp lock hear that almost too too good almost worried i have trouble ugh, getting it loose at some point but you don't have to crank on it i guess eh, there you go so you can see the o-ring wants to come with it on the threading uh, when you're unthreading. So I would say this is the one to get if you're on a budget and you just want to get something to try. But I wouldn't necessarily recommend this one. I can already tell you this O-ring is going to cause me trouble if, you know, like I said, I've had this one for over a year. And I've literally not had a single issue with this O-ring. It's never even shifted. Um, I've never even thought about the O-ring, to be honest. Threads super smooth, tightens down, 
That seam is really nice. How much does that matter on something like this? I don't know, but that seems nice. I think you get what you pay for a little bit, right? Um, but this does look good. Feels pretty good. It's got a nice little lip down here. And it does stand up. So that's a benefit. If you lay it down, it's going to roll, obviously. And it looks like a little water bottle. So I think it's cool. Um, I just am concerned about that O-ring. But you know what? Maybe I just have to give it some time. And it might just end up sticking where it is, like my other one. Um, and the threads might stop squeaking because that's hurting my soul right now. So this one's $8.98. The next one is very similar to the first one again. This is the uh, O2-Veen keychain pill holder container titanium mill mini pill case small pill box for emergency waterproof EDC pill keychain for purse pocket mini. I just realized I didn't measure this one for you guys. So let's just do these measurements real quick. I apologize. Um, this one is 1.3 so this guy was a bit over 1.5 this one's 1.3 and we're looking at 0.46 width so same width as that one this guy is going to be a little fatter and a little shorter so this guy's going to be 0 0.371 so just a little longer than that guy and then it's going to be about half an inch i bet yep 0.47 the width of a, of a good pocket knife. <laughs> um, and we'll test the uh, ibuprofen in here. So drop E. This one, because of that extra width, is going to carry these a lot easier. That's something that I would call a benefit on this. I think you could stack these and have them. Let's just see. If they come out in the cap, then we know. Oh. Maybe not. I thought they would fit in there. Jeez, God. No, they still don't fit in the cap. So you still only have as much room as those threads give you, which you can fit at least three of these ibuprofen in there. You might be able to squeeze a fourth one in before you start having issues. So um, I'd say that's a win right there. Would work perfectly for me. So, all right. That is that one. And then let's get back to the Oduveen. Um, this one's a little different, and it doesn't have, like, a, a cool kind of cap look to it. Like these all do. It has just a little hole right here. And um, what that is, it's all marked up already on top. This one came in this package. We get two extra O-rings and a key ring. And made in China. Probably... Possibly coming from the same place as this one, but um, you never know. And it's got a nice finish to it. I will say that. I like the finish a lot. Um, they all have different finishes. You know, like this one's got a machine polished kind of titanium. This one's kind of got what you call the ugly titanium finish. It's almost yellowy. Um, and this one's got a good uh, finish to it as well. Nice little polished finish. You could tell because it's all scratched up like that. And this one is in the same boat, I think. It's just newer, you know. Um, but you get a, a, a good grip on the cap. I did have a little more trouble loosening it because you don't have that extra grip like you do on these up here. You can't just, oops, you can't just grip like this, right? You have to grip this circular area, and that makes it tougher. So you end up gripping it down here. And if this got too tight, it would be a little tough to loosen, but it seems to not have that issue. Um, seems to have less threads as well. Um, but it might just be the way it works that's throwing me off. But it looks nice. Seam looks good. Size looks good. There we go. Let's drop these in. So we do not fit this ibuprofen. At least not well. We're going to have a struggle getting that out. So you could get it in, but you know, it's the kind of thing I don't want to have to do when I need it. You know, I got a headache. I want to get this thing out, you know. Um, I don't think I'm going to get this out, actually. 
I need some needle nose. Let me, uh, should have my Leatherman squirt. I don't know if I can get in here with that, though. Eh. There we go. Squirt to the rescue, baby. It's like the first time I've ever had to use this squirt. Look at this pristine squirt. I had this on my keychain or on my bag for like a year. I had a blue one before that that was all destroyed. I used it all the time, but just hadn't had purpose for this one. So I took it off. Um, I also got a really cool Micra from somebody. Complete side note here, but a viewer actually had this made for me with my lefty EDC on there. It's a little Micra. Also had this on my backpack for a while, and then I took this off because I have a full-blown multi-tool in there. And I just, I just was like having way too much redundant shit, you know? So anyway... You will not get that standard uh, sort of ibuprofen in there. Now, my medication would fit in here easy. Um, so I, I wouldn't have a problem, I don't think. I'll test it out for sure. Um, but let's give this guy a check. This one's going to be 1.3, 1.36. And then it's going to be on the slimmer side at 0.59. So that's a very small difference, 0.59 and 0.6, right? I mean, that's crazy that you have such a small difference, yet these will stack right in there, fall right out, no problem. So they must have thicker, they must just have a thicker build in there. Or the threads, look at the threads, they stick out more. So you just can't get it in. So she said. That's interesting. No, they don't seem to stick out more. It's just that little bit. That's gnarly, isn't it? It's just weird to think about. Let's just try these. So I'm going to try to go in a little bit so I'm past the threads. 0 0.377. 0 0.378. 0.387. Just that big of a difference. That tiny bit of a difference. 0.376. I don't know. I just think stuff like that's kind of cool. Anyway, sorry. I'm nerding out over here. I like the... Uh, oh, wait. Let's see if they... Uh, you could tell it's not meant for this one, but it actually does work. It does thread on there. What about this one on here? Nope, doesn't thread on. Interesting. Okay, the uh, seal is really good, though. It does feel really well made, so depending on your needs, you know. Now, this one's my favorite. Uh, by the way, that one's $13.89. So $13.89 on Amazon, still not bad. I'd say the upgrade in... Uh, how it feels like this feels way more premium than this. This feels like a cheap thing that is titanium, but it's, you know, cheap. They made it as cheap as they could. This feels like a premium product. So, you know, uh, four or five bucks makes that difference. This one just really spoke to me. It looks to me like a little milk jug, like a little milk keg thing or whatever. Um, and I just love it. I think it's really cool looking. So this is the uh, T-Sore product. This is the brand that I was telling you about that also makes this little guy, the bullet one. And this one was the most expensive at, oh, it says $19.90. And I swear yesterday I paid $32 for this. Uh, maybe I was looking at a different one. Let me, no, let me check my orders because I swear I paid $32 for this. 
orders. Do, 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 do. So, view your item? No. How do I... So, it was $57 total. Okay. And the tea sort... Yeah, I paid $32.99 for it yesterday. And all of a sudden, it's $19 today. Mother of bitch. So this is the uh, TSOR portable pill cases, metal titanium pill holder, blah, 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 blah. Okay, same description as the other ones. Um, I'm wondering why it's so much cheaper now, but that pisses me off a little bit. So, I don't know. It is what it is. So, cool. good for you guys. It's linked down below. Hopefully, it's still nineteen ninety when you get to it. But it was thirty two yesterday. It did come with extras, which is cool. It came in this case, right here. Micro keychain pill holder. Uh, micro gas tank. Okay, they think it. Okay, yeah, gas tank makes sense. Uh, this pops open, and it did come with this nice, uh, I think, titanium little carabiner guy. So, you know, you do get an extra cool thing. Uh, I, I mean, that's a lot. It does come with the uh, two O-rings and the keychain as well. So that's cool. And, the, you know, obviously you have a key ring and then this hooks to the key ring. And I might use this for something else. But, I don't know, it just seemed like a weird thing to have with it, kind of. Um, I would have preferred to just get the bottle... For, you know, 20 bucks, but apparently you can. So there's the case for that one. And uh, yeah, you just screw it off and boom, Bob's your uncle. You got a nice, uh, you got a chode here, guys. So it's obviously going to be smaller than all the other ones. But, you know, because it's so fat, the threads don't matter. We're going to be able to thread these no problem. So I can fit all three in there, and I'll tell you, these other ones, you can probably only fit three in here or here, right? You can't fit any in here, and you can fit... Did we even try this one? I think we did, and we fit like one in there or something. So it holds just as many, in my opinion, of the ibuprofen. Now, you know, with a bigger medication, like that's... I have a concern with my medication. We'll see if it fits... Um, but I just love the look of this and it does have a flat bottom so you can stand this up. You can also lay it down and it will roll, but you can stand it up either way. You know, you could again, necklace, carry this keychain, carry this, do whatever you want. Very small carries in your, uh, side pocket in my case, very well. I uh, actually was carrying this one before the video and enjoying it. Um, uh, so this one's really cool. This is my favorite out of the bunch, but it's the most expensive. Anywhere from $20 to $32. So um, up to you, right? I think they make bigger versions. They had uh, all different kinds, if I recall. Um, this one, in terms of measuring, is not even an inch. Just about an inch. And then... The widest one at almost 0.6 of an inch. So uh, does that make it better? I don't know. I, I think out of all of these, these two are the best options. Um, this is the one I've had for a long time, and I just really like it. You know, before this, before I started carrying this, um, I carried one of those plastic pill cases. And the ones that you just kind of pop the lid off. And, dude, I had to replace those every six months because, you know, the the back part would, rip, you know, it would break off or something would crack or it would stop clicking closed or it would open in my pocket. So, you know, this is a huge upgrade from that. And I think any of these will do great. Um, so your choice if you're interested, let me know what you guys think down below. I know this is off the beaten path a bit, but I like to cover different aspects of EDC because this is truly something I carry every day. So 
Um, I'd love to get your thoughts on that. This one does say just titanium alloy and the basic stuff, just like the other ones. But I will say it does have a premium feel to it. Um, you know, about the same as this one, this one, and this one. Uh, they all feel about the same grade of titanium. Probably grade two titanium, if I had to guess. Um, but... They all seal well. They, you know, they all feel good. And this one for, you know, nine bucks, uh, it'll get the job done. I think the knurling is what makes it feel a little cheap to me. If it didn't have that, and it was just clean like these, I think it would probably be in the same ballpark. That and the O ring just felt like, you know. But now it seems to be fine. So I don't know. You guys, let me know what you think. I, uh, I really appreciate you guys watching this long. If you have, uh, leave a comment if you watch this whole video, because um, that'll be interesting to hear. Let me know if you guys are interested in the mini pen, the micro pen, the keychain pen video, because that was going to be one of the next ones on my slate. I just have to carry a couple of them for a few more days because I want to get a little bit of real world experience i did switch one out today um i was carrying this one right here uh, i believe this is the uh let me check this is the tec uh accessories pico pen i believe and uh i really enjoyed carrying this one nice and small i didn't love that it had this uh extra little carabiner because it just made it feel longer right if this was attached right to that then cool but there's no way to do that so i don't know i think ultimately i would take this whole thing off and just put a little key ring on and then put that key ring onto my keys to reduce that space because you have this space from here all the way to the pen that's all extra um so the one i switched out to is the key smart nano pen which is kind of the heaviest one but uh it actually feels really good so far because it doesn't have as much of that extra space there it feels good um, but i'm really loving these d1 refill ones so far um, but let me know if you guys are interested in this uh, because i have that video coming hopefully soon and uh, i love you guys uh, i hope you have an absolutely fantastic day i may be giving away some of these uh in live streams as we go forward because i really don't need all these um and i uh, love you guys i will catch you later